What is going on, GW Fetch? My name is Josh Williamson. So for this whole video recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a tater tot breakfast casserole. Very easy to make, doesn't take that much time, and it tastes amazing. So let's get started. So to start off, get a nonstick pan, put a few tablespoons of oil in it, and set it over medium heat. And once the oil starts shimmering, put one pound of ground mild pork sausage in, and also one diced sweet onion, and two diced bell peppers. I'm using a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. Then just get a wooden spoon and break apart that sausage until it's, you know, broken apart into like a ground crumbly mixture. And I'm also going to season the sausage and the other vegetables in there with some salt. Don't use too much salt because there's already sa salt in the sausage and there's going to be salt in the cheese and the tater tots as well. So don't use too much. And also some black pepper and some garlic powder. And just continue cooking this until all the sausage has cooked fully and there's not any pink left. And also, if you want, you can actually throw in, like, if you want this to be, be a bit spicy, you could dice up a jalapeno and throw it in. And also, you can just leave out, you know, the onions and the peppers if you want to. I just like adding them because they have some extra flavor. Alright, this mixture is done cooking. Now, what you want to do is just set this aside while we work on the rest of the stuff. Next, in another bowl, I have five eggs. To that, I'm going to add one cup of milk. Then I'm just going to whisk those together until they're well combined and set it aside for later. Now get a 9 by 13 inch baking pan, a spray with cooking spray, and then pour in a 2 pound bag of tater tots. And I'm going to sprinkle the top of this with some cheese. Now I'm using a combination of two cheeses. I'm using grated mozzarella and I'm also using grated sharp cheddar. Now I don't measure either of these so just put that out there. I don't measure either of these, so you can use as much as you want of either. Now take those sausage, peppers, and onions and pour it all on top. Then pour in that egg and milk mixture. Do it in areas so it doesn't spill over anywhere. And finally, a last layer of cheese. Again, I'm using a combination of mozzarella and sharp cheddar. After that, what you want to do is cover the pan tightly with foil. And then after that, what you want to do is put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, take the foil off and then put it back in the oven for another 20 to 25 minutes. All right, this is what the casserole should look like when it comes out of the oven. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to cut sections off into particular sizes because just getting one out without separating it like this it's kind of a nightmare. Now that's all sectioned up, I'll get one out of here and onto a plate and I'll show it off for presentation. All right, our tater top breakfast casserole is done. Like I said, it was really easy. It didn't take that much time and it tastes amazing. This is one of my favorite breakfast dishes I made. It's great for a breakfast meal prep. You can keep it in the fridge and reheat a section anytime you want it. It's a really, really good dish. And also, if you want to, you could also add some crumbled up bacon on top or you could chop up some green onions. You could do anything with this and It'll be amazing. But if you try it out, leave in the comment section down below and tell me what you thought, whether you liked it or you hated it. If you liked it, you thumb it up, hate it, you thumb it down. And be sure to subscribe to come here to the GW Faction on a jury of 10,000 subscribers. See you later.